Tesla it makes electric vehicles, but it actually does more than that. Um, it's involved with um, building and developing solar panels for the home and also for uh, utility scale grids. Uh, it's also involved with the fundamental technology behind electric vehicles like batteries, putting the cells and the modules and the battery packs together and having a layer of software around battery management. But importantly, if you look at Tesla's materials, it talks about a company that's focused on finding scalable, large-scale solutions that will put the world in a, on a more sustainable path. So Tesla fundamentally is purpose-driven, it's mission-driven, and it thinks a lot bigger than just making cars. Another example here would be Tesla's efforts in trying to promote um, and develop autonomous driving. Uh, which it's a, one of the most difficult engineering challenges that requires hardware, you know, the cars, the cameras, the sensors, but also the software. So people may use words like artificial intelligence where, you know, you have machines sensing the world around it and also making instant calculation adjustments. The type of technology we need for not only autonomous, you know, passenger vehicle driving, but potentially automating logistics and long-range transport on both land, air, and sea. So Tesla is really an innovative company uh, that has its own manufacturing. Again, something that not uh, a, a plenty of other large tech companies try to avoid. They don't want to deal with the, the nitty-gritty of uh, organizing labor and, and factories. So it's really a, quite an interesting company that combines an innovative engineering culture, but also with capabilities to make things happen. I think its track record of having come from nowhere uh, to being a scaled player in making electric vehicles. So for example, last year, Tesla delivered uh, 1.3 million vehicles. That's still only less than 2% of global light car production. But it's come from nowhere in the space of, say, half a decade. And it's profitable. Uh, and it's net cash in terms of its balance sheet. So that's quite a unique combination uh, for a company attacking such a novel new field, such as electric vehicles. There are plenty of other Tesla wannabe companies, but most of them are still burning cash and not profitable. So it's already gotten itself into a very a unique position that can benefit from this transition from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles and trying to do that profitably. And importantly, Elon Musk, the founder, the CEO, the driver behind Tesla, he's a unique character uh, in the current era. Uh, not only did he have the tenacity right early on to, to find the company and to build it to scale, but he, he clearly has the mind uh, in terms of seeing the vision of what things could be, not what they are currently. So while Elon Musk is a divisive character, there are plenty of uh, pushbacks recently by investors last year about Elon Musk's uh, involvement with Twitter and also some of his more politically sensitive comments. The reality is, I think if Mr. Musk was to leave the company tomorrow, uh, Tesla's share price would almost certainly be down. And for that reason, you would think uh, he is an intangible, positive uh, equity contributing factor to the Tesla shares. And he is very difficult to replace or, or to even imitate. Um, so those two things, the scale and the track record, and also uh, what Elon Musk inherently stands for, which is something very innovative, something very grand in terms of the vision. Milford did research work on Tesla towards the end of last year, and we invested in early January. And since then, the markets have genuinely been supportive and positive for growth fee companies, uh, as some of the interest rate concerns moderated ever so slightly. So Tesla's share since we've invested have actually done very well. Uh, and it comes amidst a very difficult last year for Tesla shares. So Tesla in 2022 fell about 60 odd percent and has since rebounded, uh, since we've held it, uh, about 70 odd percent. And it's extremely highly, it's very volatile shares. And that's because a lot of its value hinges on what may happen in the future. But for now, 
uh, having seen such strong performance, we've moderated our position slightly. It was not a large position to start with because we are cognizant, we're not oblivious to some of the risks that are out there relating to companies such as Tesla, which are fast growing and uh, future orientated. Uh, but we, we still hold a positive view towards its recent developments, such as uh, the launch of the Cybertruck or Tesla's efforts in battery storage for the home and also for utility sized grids. Tesla talks about wanting to increase production scale and volume by about 50% a year for the medium term, for the sort of foreseeable few years coming down the lines. And if you think about the world makes maybe 80 million vehicles, 80 to 90 million vehicles a year, and that there are 2 billion vehicles on the street globally, this transition to electric vehicles will take decades. And I think it is plausible for Tesla to continue growing at rates such as 50%, 40-50% for some time to come. Exactly for how long, that, that is difficult, but we do know that relating to adoption of new technology is by no means linear. What do I mean by that? It means it accelerates. The moment that the consumer or businesses actually feel comfortable about the technology, it's more mature, it's more reliable, there's more charging infrastructure, the purchase and the demand for electric vehicles will accelerate much faster perhaps than most people will think. So there is definitely upside in terms of what Tesla can do in electric vehicles, let alone what Tesla may be able to do with autonomous driving, with robotics. That's also you know, an iron in the fire. So as with any share investment, there's always a downside risk, but there's always an upside risk as well. And here, I just think the optionality regarding what Elon Musk's vision, his capabilities in terms of manufacturing, when put together, can achieve, it makes the upside a lot more attractive than the downside. <laughs>